Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we're going to continue on with our regular expressions using Python and we're going to talk about greedy, non-greedy and grouping. So what do you mean by a greedy match? A greedy match in the sense when you write a pattern or a regular expression to match a particular string in a given test string, it is going to get greedy, literally, and it is going to keep searching further even after a, an exact match is found. Okay, so to illustrate an example, let's just write here HTML, CSS, okay, here. And the regular expression I'm going to use here is again the angular angular bracket okay dot star okay and closing angular bracket okay so as you see here angular bracket matches an angular bracket and this one it matches any character except for the new line character okay this one repeats the previous one okay zero or many and this one is for closing the angular bracket. So it has matched here. If you had guessed it right, this is a greedy method because it matched this ending angular bracket, but it didn't stop there. It went out further and it matched the CSS along with another closing angular bracket. So how do I turn it into non-greedy version? Okay, this is a greedy version. The way I do the greedy non-greedy version is I just add a question mark here. Okay, then what it does is when I use the star question mark, it matches between zero and unlimited times as few times as possible. Okay, it is also known as lazy matching. Okay, that's why it's non-greedy matching. Hope you got this. The next method I would like to show you is grouping with parentheses. So let's talk about grouping with parentheses. Consider that we had this test string here, a2, a33, a3, and so on. So if we wanted to develop something like a grouped pattern which repeats a non-digit a digit pair, then we would do that by using this round uh, brackets okay that, that is for grouping and we would use slash capital D for non characters and slash D for the small characters sorry the digits okay and we would use the plus sign outside which would typically do a non digit digit matching a non digit digit matching okay and since we've used plus here it would do for one or more times Okay, the match will be done for one or more times. So that is how you use grouping here. In the further tutorials, we will be using grouping a lot and you would understand them there further. So that's all for this video.